Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin with Firehouse Cards. Um, today I'm going to do a vintage break that's a little bit different. I'm going to do a box of 1992 Fleer Jumbo Packs. Uh, I know this might seem like a kind of a boring box of uh, junk, but those who collected cards in the early 90s might remember um, the Frank Thomas Rookie Sensations. And here's a look of a, at a Jeff Bagwell, what they kind of look like. Um, back in the day, that card was one of the first inserts that really caught fire. And straight out of the packs, they could go for $100 or more. And um, this is the only way you could get them was in jumbo packs. So um, they're really condition sensitive, hard to, to find in high grade. So I figured I'd gamble on a box and, uh, and see if we can get a Frank Thomas or Jeff Bagwell or another one of the uh, rookie sensations. Um, I think they're seated one in every four packs, which is, you know, fairly decent odds. I think there's 20 cards in the set, so it's like it'd be one in 80 packs for, uh, for one of the individual cards. Um, like I said, they're super condition sensitive. And straight out of the pack, we've got a Clemens insert. You can see the front card, it's already torn. Um, I'm not going to go through all the cards. It's just, this is, you know, just a lot of, um, you got Pudge. I mean, there's a lot of good players. It's just overproduced, not worth a lot of money. But uh, oh, here we got a uh, rookie sensations in the first pack. Um, Todd Van Poppel, which this one's actually in pretty good condition. Um, these cards have centering issues. The gold gets scratched, um, but in high grade, they're worth a ton. I think there was a Frank Thomas PSA 10. I think the pop may only be one or two. It was on eBay the other day for several thousand dollars I don't think it's sold for that but you know it's definitely worth a few hundred bucks but uh so we'll see if we can get a Frank Thomas and hopefully it'll be in high grade it doesn't look like one in this pack yeah like I said I'm not gonna go through every card I'm just gonna kinda shuffle through to see there is one other Frank Thomas card I'm looking for that hopefully I'll find uh, the uh, Provisions card this is one I had when I was a kid, but we'll see if we find it. I think there's 24 packs in the box. I don't know if I mentioned that. And um, there's a few other inserts I guess you can come across. Roger Clemens, and I think he actually has an autograph in this stuff. I'm sure it's super rare to come by. Doesn't look like much in this pack. Oh, there we go. Here's the uh, Frank Thomas Pro Vision. When I was a kid, I thought this was the coolest card ever. It was in pretty good shape. I may actually get that graded. The centering's all right on the back. Yeah, pretty close. We'll see. But yeah, that Frank Thomas Rookie Sensations, it was, it was a big deal back in that day. Sorry if I'm going a little slow. Some of them are stuck together. I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Yeah, I have to check the pop. It's got to be low. I mean, there may only be one PSA 10 rookie sensations. But I'm pretty sure any rookie sensations PSA 10, even if it's a no namer, would command a premium. Looks like we might have one here. And let's see. Try not to scratch it. Boom! Oh man, Frank Thomas, nice. It looks pretty good too. A little off center, left to right, but corners look pretty sharp. Awesome. Kind of shaking here. Uh, back's a little off center, so definitely not a 10, but still an awesome card. I don't care in what grade. Wow. Sweet. That may come back at eight. I think they still eights probably sell for twenty bucks. Awesome. And next
next. We just got to get a bag well. That Todd Van Poppel is the first one I pulled. That was a big card back in the day. But he didn't really pan out. Got a King Griffey Jr. Looks like the Pro Vision. Yeah, I remember I had this card as a kid too. That's pretty neat. And got another Clemens Career Highlights. This video may be super boring to most of you guys, but um, there's a few people that, that are going to be excited to see that Thomas pull. I think in a nine, those sell for a couple hundred bucks even. There's a Ripken ProVision. It's a neat card. Base Frank Thomas on the back. Nice one. And looks like nothing. I generally respect base cards a little bit better than this, but I mean, there's no way anybody wants to sit here and watch an entire box of jumbo 92 Fleer. Looks like nothing in this one. So we got two rookie sensations in the first eight packs. I definitely did not, I mean the first uh, 12 packs, so we didn't hit our odds. Maybe the uh, bottom half would be a little better. Sweet to pull another Thomas. But I think I paid less than twenty dollars for this box on eBay shipped. I think it maybe it was nineteen or something like that. And um, you know, the odds of making that money back are pretty low. Now that I pull that Thomas, I might break even if it comes back in eight. But it was kind of a gamble thing. I was hoping for uh, to get a 10. Oh, we got another, I believe it's a rookie sensation. Blue, yeah. And it is West Chamberlain. And you can see out of the pack, that one, the corner's bent. But yeah, and the centering's terrible on the back. These things are impossible to find. Shouldn't say impossible, but they're very difficult to find in high grade. I think the worst problem, other than centering, is the uh, gold foil on the front scratches really easily. And another nothing pack. But if you're a modern collector, just yeah, just skip this video. <laughs> yeah, this is not gonna be entertaining. Oh, got another one. And it is a Jeff Facero. And you can see that scratch right in the middle of this J on his name. That's common. The centering's not too bad on the front, top to bottom on the back. something. Yeah, it's another one. Cheeto Martinez. 
one's not too bad. Corners are a little rough. Top to bottom centering again on the back. But I like taking shots of this old stuff. A lot of uh, the old stuff, the cards and um, PSA 10 command super, super premium prices. Like the 92 Jordan um, Fleer All Star card, I think it sells for like 1500 bucks in a PSA 10. I mean, it's just a, you know, in the early 2000s would have been considered a uh, junk insert from the 90s. But there's a lot of people now that go for these 90s inserts. And we got another one. Nice. Jeff Bagwell. Sweet. That's the other big one from the set. Uh, it's got a scratch right between his, the uh, G and W of his name, unfortunately. So that one, well, not great high. It's a little off-center left to right also. But not a bad card. Almost done here. But I thought about working on the uh, King Griffey Jr. and Frank Thomas master sets just kind of as a little side collection, not to truly compete. So I may get some of the uh, base out of this graded if they're well centered. I think they can get a shot at a 10. I'll, I'll send them, especially that Pro Visions. Alright, last two packs. Wrap up this little adventure. But uh, if you haven't seen the prices of uh, some of the uh, early 90s inserts, check out the uh, Donner's Elite in PSA 10. I mean, some of those are going for, you know, two, three, four, five hundred bucks. Um, so, you know, don't turn your, your back on some of these early 90s stuff. So you got one more rookie sensations. Come on, Thomas. No, oh, sweet, another Bagwell. Let's check it out. I don't know, man. That one's pretty good. Gold looks perfect. Centering is perfect. Back centering isn't great, but it's the best so far out of all of them. Little nick on the back corner, which might take it out of a 10 running. But, uh, nice. That's definitely going to PSA. Go through here, make sure there's nothing else. Nah. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I know this may not have been the usual vintage break, but, um, I thought it was pretty fun. Um, we did pull the Thomas, man. You know, I'm really excited about that. It's kind of shaky after I pulled this thing. I don't think it'll grade super high. It might get an 8. Um, I don't know, man. Poss uh, nah. Back's going to keep it out of a nine for sure. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing more vintage breaks soon. See you guys.